Nightmare Tyrant by Zasvid. Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're looking at another game in the Seven Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Uh, this one, as I guess it just it happens, so happens to be. Uh, there's already a gold version out, which I guess has bug fixes and minor changes, but we won't be looking at that at the moment. This is the Seven Day Roguelike version, and you know it's conveniently packaged in those two separate ones. Uh, so thank you, Zasvid, for that. And I'll try to look at both of them. We'll see how much the Seven DRL version uh, works and plays well enough and if it turns out that you know we it could be better and we'd like to see how it gets better then then yeah we go on to the gold version but until at that point we'll just go ahead and just take a quick look so we also have some people who worked on um, contains bits of open source code from the python and libtcad tutorial um, and then also just people helping and yes yes well i'm sure you all read that let's go on welcome hero the fate of this town rests in your hands. Can you save it from the approaching nightmare? Well, uh, let me answer that question with a burp. Face the nightmares anytime you want, but the more unresolved dangers lurk around the town, the stronger the fears of its townspeople and the nightmare harder to conquer. Wait, the more unresolved dangers that continue to lurk. Okay, okay. Just, uh, I don't know why I sometimes miss that. Anyway, however, your life, you risk your life any time you go out there to face the frightening denizens of the town's most dangerous places. Which task shall you undertake next? <laughs> oh, you know, save and quit. I'll just start with that. No, so we have health, we have stamina, we have special equipment, bar. I don't know, I guess that's my action or my spell or my bad badge or my flower points or my ability points or anything like that. We have superior defense and skill and we are lucky and confident with our crossbow, firebomb, calming smoke leaf, and a flask of spirits. That's that's a whole mouthful of stuff that we already have. Alright, well let's just go ahead and find the haunted graveyard. That sounds great. So here we are. And I guess we just move along. The Poltergeist. Oh, wow. I didn't even... Your defense tactically decreases. Well, that's no good. Huh. That's no good at all. Uh, so now we have successfully attacked that zombie. Oh, a zombie. Where's the Poltergeist? Is it the G? Mm. Run away from the G. Okay, good. Stamina decreases by one, so that's just kind of physical exertion, I guess. Um, and the poltergeist is kind of annoying with the way it works. So, skeleton attacks you with a rusty blade. Ugh. Um, but I'm attacking it. Without you anything threatening you, you can catch your breath, readjust your outfit, reload your crossbow, and you're ready for another fight. All right. Fantastic. Ugh, oh, that thing's annoying. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I shot it? I did shoot it. Or did I? Wait. Oh, I smoked ah, I smoked the pinch of the thing, so attitude increased for some reason. I need the button. Okay, good. Thank goodness I can just press the question mark, and we get the button moving. So, you, I can actually move with quiazdzik. Uh, that last bit's rather difficult to say. Quiad is not bad, but then z <laughs> feel like I'm choking. Anyway, uh, so how do I fire a ranged weapon? That would just be the one that's the activate equipped lightning launcher. Goodness, I guess that's the firebomb. Um, oh, shoot is just R, or I could right mouse click. Wait, what? Uh, left, oh, it's one of these things. Or press R to select closest applicable target. This is the one thing I always found weird with, um... Oh, man, I missed? Alright, well, I mean, this lets me... I, probably waiting helps. Can I move into any of that? The inscriptions on this tombstone eroded long ago. I just need to get close to you, pretty much. There we go. Alright, cool. So I did lose some stuff, but other than that, seem to be doing okay. Oh, um, whoops. Okay, well at least it died. That's important. Is there a look button then? 
mode where I just have to hover my mouse in order to figure that out. Picking up items, okay, inventory. I have an inventory? I have an inventory, but it's all equipped, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Indeed. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, whoops. What are you? You're a, quite the bee. You're a dread bat. Dread bats are bad, I think. But it only seems to cause... Oh, okay. I guess that's what happened then. Anyway. And then we kill more. Okay. But I don't know what the other ones do. So, you know, in the spirit of me always forgetting to do stuff... Deploy the firebomb. Oh, I have to deploy it in a direction? Okay, let's not do that. Instead, let's try shooting these guys. And shoot, and there we go. Okay, so we killed everybody. Um, flask of spirits. So, okay, so the special equipment is like my F and my V and perhaps my tab. So that increases my health but decreases attitude and stamina. So there's nothing that actually increases stamina other than perhaps waiting around. Although I've yet to see that happen. I'm just, I'm kind of more wondering if that's what, what happens. Oh, that was cool. Critically misses me hurting itself instead. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen stamina improve. But it doesn't seem to un it doesn't seem to decrease very easily. So that's not half bad. What do we oh, um I should probably fight this zombie in the first place. Well I'm curious what's here though. Okay, it's a necromancer. That's that's great. Where's the necromancer though? Oh, is that oh it's that it's that at thing. Great. Just try to just try to shoot him, huh? Oh, I have to reload every time. I see. Okay, well, I did manage to kill you. Thank goodness for that. Ah, oh, great. And a poltergeist. This could... Okay, good. Phew. need my flask of spirits. I don't really get why the flask of spirits works that way, but uh, it drains me while increasing my health back. So... You know, I'm okay with that. I think more importantly... Ah, crap. I should have just went back the way I came. Because I don't know how well I'm going to work. Oh, stamina by three. Whoo, Nelly. Um, is there a button to leave at this point? I mean... I, I really do want to try the lightning launcher. I guess here. Just deploy it. Oh, I am not stepping on it, but... I don't know what it's actually meant to do. Anyway, um, your quest is completed. You can leave by pressing L if there are no opponents in sight. So, there we go. Alright, so maybe I can just do that whenever, and I didn't read that properly. So there is that, all of that, which is great. Which task shall you undertake next? I guess let's, let's do another one. Like the Black Market. That sounds great. I haven't found any equipment yet. So, I... Maybe... Oh, wait. Fence? After your heroic deed, the townspeople are eager to... Oh. Okay. Well, I restocked my special equipment. That's fine. But I wasn't given anything new. Whoa. My stamina is at one? Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Not good in the slightest. I need to, like, be able to come, go back. I need to go back. L. Ah, really? I wanted to, like, sleep it off. I don't have stamina for this. <laughs> I didn't realize I could just wait. Because without any stamina, I'm probably going to die. Yeah. At least that's what I think's gonna happen. Man, all these things are just things. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I have zero stamina. Is there a button for resting, perhaps? 
Uh, do, 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 do. You're right, the medical, the med kit isn't really what I'm doing. Throw the equipped grenade. Wait, F is my grenade? It's not a grenade at all. Huh. Come on. Okay, good. I can kill you. Yeah, all these guys that can shoot stupid... Ugh. It's very annoying, I'll tell you that. Well, I mean, the fact that I can't lose stamina because I don't have any stamina to lose, that doesn't that doesn't really hurt me much. Wow, ten. Not half bad. Yeah, the attitude is, is a bad thing. Um, there. I guess we'll just leave it at that. Well, that's weird. Wow. That... Oh, it temporarily... Wait. Oh. Okay. I guess I don't get how the smoke leaf works. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Nope. Nope. <sighs> That's bad. Positioning. This is a very bad positioning. Are they going to come after me? Probably not. The AI knows better than to do that. So I guess I could try using the firebomb. That kind of worked. It kind of worked. Do it like a bit at a time. All right, good. So I've slain that crime lord. The crime lord has been slain. And with that, I can now leave. Can I just... Yes, okay, good. Um, there's got to be something else I can do, though, because I don't have any of my stamina back, and that's just... It's weird. I only got two back. <laughs> um, and yeah, you get your special equipment back after you complete something. But other than that, I mean, this quest has already been completed, indeed. I know that. So that really just leaves all the other places. And I guess we could look at them, like Nightmare World. But, uh, I mean, I think we've already seen a good treat of this, and it seems to be working pretty well. And overall, the, the elements for the game are there. I think it's kind of missing variety at the moment. Uh, just in terms of the items available. But other than that, it seems pretty good. I don't understand necessarily the uh, uses of defense and skill. I assume that they improve your roles, and having them worse makes your roles a lot worse. So you basically need to you know, finish up situations quickly and effectively on, in each combat. But let's just quickly go ahead and take a look at the gold version. So back when I'm back. Well, we can already see that this one starts out by having a different beginning screen, which, I don't know, means stuff. Other than that, we can just go ahead and start a new game. And this even tells us other different things. So let's see. Our village is set, beset by the most insidious of dangers. A nightmare tyrant haunts our dreams, and it will devour our souls if you don't put a stop to it in time. I can give you an herbal tea that will induce nightmares in which you can face it at any time. But beware of its power! The tyrant thrives on fears of our villagers. Uh, so yes, um, and then this just talks about the various places to go. We'll be weaker if you destroy those fears, but each of these is founded and you risk your life facing any of them. What's more, the sooner you defeat Nightmare, the less the village will suffer and the greater your glory will be. However, if you face it too soon, they might prove impossible. So basically, okay, I think I didn't understand that originally. And this all looks the same, but basically when you enter Nightmare World, that's the that's the end quest, and everything else is kind of, it gets you stronger or something, um, or perhaps makes Nightmare World weaker, so I don't know. But let's go ahead and check out the Cursed Forest then, sure, why not? And we can see our inventory, can we even, oh, there, there isn't, it doesn't even bother with an, okay, so in other words... In other words, this is literally what we have then. Well, I guess that's fine. Um, yeah, that, that should be fine. Quest log! Look at that quest log. Slay that evil witch. That is so important to know. Message log, it's, you know, it's what that is. Kill list? Huh. Uh, leave location after completing quest so you can do that immediately. Um... So in other words, there isn't really intended to be a variety of equipment at this point anymore, so that's good to know, I guess. Fighting these wolfmen, 
confidence tactically decreases. I guess, yeah, that's... So they've changed. So now we have this purple indicator, which is a little different. These freaking things are annoying the hex out of me's. Well, I do not want to be in water, I bet. And we fight this wasps. The entire swarm has been defeated by my... Um, my uh, sword. Yes, I sliced all of them open in one fell swoop. Tactically and temporarily decreases. Not sure what the difference is there, but whatever. So I managed, by hitting them, I guess I managed to get some of my confidence back. So that's important too. That's also important in some ways, more than others. And I also increased my health by killing something. Well, that's interesting. Ah, come on. There we go, I killed you. But I'm not getting my stamina back, which may or may not prove quite nasty. I am super duper stressed right now, okay. So I'm getting, I, I've become less stressed. I'm not entirely unstressed. Um, oh, let's try the firebomb in the, in the forest. Is that, so was that what, is that just kind of a super melee attack? Is that what I'm getting out of that? I suppose so. Oh, whoops, uh, did I kill it? I killed something. Okay, well. There we go. Something died. Oh, let's run into it. Oh, black powder blasted ground. So the firebomb is just a super powerful melee attack as far as I can tell. Uh, oh, crap. You can actually shoot me from where you are. And do you approach? No. What? <laughs> I didn't even try to fight you and you killed yourself, dear man. Nah, really? Not cool, Wolfie. Oh, I am super duper stressed. Um, whoa, come on. Move. I need to be able to move. And yet, I am not. Oh, oh, I was, <laughs> I was on that screen, sorry. I totally th forgot about that. Huh. So I guess I got the confidence back by oh no okay huh so the calming smoke leaf increased my health and the swig of spirits increases my health and my attitude so what's I don't know I, I guess I just I don't really get the point of having two items that kind of do roughly the same thing although maybe the smoke leaf's more random not even sure. Oh, darn my luck. You're smacking my luck. Not cool. Not cool. Um, I guess we need to try to kill you. And have you died? Yes, you have. Okay, good. Peek through a window. I don't want to just peek through a window. I want to go into the said window area. How do I get there? There. There's how I get there. And then we kill you, or try to. Man, stupid wolfmen. Oh, it's problematic, that's for sure. Then we got this you. There's a nice smelling stew inside. Well, I want to eat the stew. I don't know. I guess the game won't let me. So, okay. Let's just go ahead and finish off by going... And yeah, you, the stamina doesn't really increase all that much. Uh, everything else comes back quite nicely. And yeah, so this is where we fight the Nightmare Tyrant. The evil Nightmare Tyrant. Who's probably super... Whoa, what? You steal special equipment stuff. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. And my stamina decreased. That's just... Oh, my stamina went all the way back when I came here. Maybe it's just because it's a dream world. Maybe. Wouldn't know. I wouldn't know what to tell you. That's just how it is. Okay. Oh crap! A revenant or the it's it's a the fear. Another the fear. <laughs> um. Everything here is a fear, but that one was rustophobia, and the other one's claustrophobia. Clearly. I. As long as you don't destroy my special equipment anymore, I'm rather okay with you doing what you do. So. 
you know, have at it. Have at the. Oh, great. The nightmare tyrant. That's the most horrific tree you could ever imagine. Oh. Seriously? I'm fighting a tree right now? Um. No, I'm not. I'm not. But I need to get away from you. I need to also find a way to get to you, period. I don't even know how well that's going to work, so. Super duper reckless. Are you going to come after me? It seems like all the AI in this game don't really care to approach unless they have to. Merges with its throne and emerges. <sighs> Great. Seriously? How am I supposed to fight you when I'm forced to fight you in this kind of stupid way? I mean, you gotta let me get close. Because <sighs> otherwise, what am I doing? What am I even doing, right? What am I even doing? Okay, well. I guess we're just gonna fight out with the crossbow. I guess so. Huh. I don't even know how... Oh, ow. Um, I mean, I can just kind of... I can kind of spam these. Except I eventually will run out of the special equipment uses. You can't go there. Throne of Nightmares is in the way. Are there other Thrones of Nightmares? There appear to be. Uh, well, okay. Interesting enough. Oh, um, okay, good. Phew. When I pressed escape, that allowed me to go back. All right, it's cool. Yeah, he just, like, keeps missing with various things. Yeah, okay. And then I just go back, and then I shoot again. I mean, I don't know how well I'm hurting this guy. Congratulations! Okay, so I won. You have saved your town. And uh, my score is 9 out of 10. That's not half bad. <laughs> so that's that's how you fight the Nightmare Tyrant. Um, hmm. Ultimately, I think the game's a little lacking in the, in the combat tactical department. But I like a lot of the elements that are there. And I think just, even in the gold version, if you could somehow make the AI, I guess, would be the one thing especially. Make it somehow more interesting. And perhaps make the firebomb more of a throwable or something or anything but um i mean it's not bad it's not bad at all so i'll leave it at that this has been game hunter playing nightmare tyrant and join me next time when we look at another game from the seven day roguelike challenge of 2013 until then keep playing those roguelikes guys and take care